Hey guys, welcome once again to Geospatial Tutorial. Today I'll teach you how to georeference an image. Georeferencing an image using an image which is already georeferenced has already been taught to you. Today I'll be teaching you when you do not have an image which is already georeferenced how to carry out the georeferencing process. For that I'll be taking a topo sheet to illustrate this process and this is that topo sheet and concentrate on this part where you have the intersection of latitude and longitude in the lines and you are provided with a set of coordinates I'll be using these coordinates in this particular exercise to carry out the georeferencing work need not necessarily be that you have to consider always these points if you have any other point on the map which has the well-known latitude and longitude maybe you can take it uh, with the help of GPS as well you can use that point as a GCP for the process go to raster menu and go for geometric correction option it will open the dialog box the same dialog box that has opened uh, last time when we were doing uh, the referencing you can click on polynomia and press OK. This does not keep much relevance. C click close. Here you have to select keyboard only. The existing viewer will help you to carry out your referencing when you have an image which is already your referenced. Press keyboard only and click OK. And this uh, window again is not much of uh, relevance. Click OK again. And you are ready for georeferencing. Take the first GCP and click at, at the intersection of these two lines. You can adjust your GCP over here if you feel like and enter the X reference. X reference will be here 77.50 as I have already told you it will be in decimal degrees so 30 seconds will become 0 0.50 when it comes to digital correction uh, when it comes to decimal degrees and y reference will remain as 1300 that is uh, 13.00 I'll go to the bottom of this image to find another intersection and hit, there you go you have another intersection I'll click on this intersection and I'll keep it as 77.50 um, let me tell you uh, if you are mo moving along a straight line only either latitude or longitude will change and keep this at uh, 12 as is uh, reflected in the map and go to the end of the image to collect another GCP you can again adjust here and give it as 79 it is reflected in the image and this will be 12 and go to the top uh, of the image and uh, select another GCP the coordinates will automatically be selected just uh, see and rectify if you feel something is not correct now you can see that uh, the fourth point is already automatically been taken which matches very closely with the previous matches it should have been 13 it has 13.001 it should have been 79 it is 78.992 the accuracy is good enough but if you are carrying out for any practical purpose please do it with utmost care so that you get almost almost 79 and 13 and that's all about the process you have to click on this button to display you the resampling image dialog box specify an output file I'll uh, give it as a uh, georeferenced click OK and all other uh, things you can uh, keep it common um, default and uh, you can change this resample method if you feel like otherwise you are done click OK and the process starts and uh, 
as usual I will not be showing you the process because uh, it will unnecessarily lengthen the video now that you are done with the process click OK and open uh, uh, before that exit this and you need not save any changes your images are already saved and uh, you can fit this image to window this is not rectified image you can see with the coordinate which comes around minus plus one eight one six so and on so forth so open another viewer and open the rectified image and fit image to window and there you go your image is rectified you can see here in the bottom that a latitude and longitude have been assigned to the map now you can use this uh, georeferenced map to georeference any other image of the same area that's all about georeferencing thanks for